Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm painting pink roses using different colours from my usual um, alizarin crimson and titanium white. I'm painting on a 9 by 12 canvas panel and I'm using French ultramarine blue, primary yellow and titanium white. And mixing those colours together gives me this sort of green and it can be mid-tone or quite dark depending on how much I mix in of the French ultramarine While blue. the paint was still wet I used my flat brush, a three quarter inch flat, to pull in some leaf shapes just to give me a nice sort of background, textured background. The colours I used for the roses were quinacridone magenta, medium magenta, rose pink and alizarin crimson. I forgot to turn my camera on, wouldn't you know it? But not to worry, I'm going to show you how I paint those um, petals. Using a flat brush, three quarter inch flat, I pull the petal in from the outside and I start with the darkest colors and end up using the palest colors. In this case, I'm putting, I think, titanium white over this the lightest of my roses and for petals that you don't see the entire petal you just see the top of I do a sideways swipe and that gives me quite a nice rose I think I love these colors they're very vivid and it's made me Think that I need to change up my palette. I've painted with the same set of colors for years. My paintings all look very much the same because of that and there are so many lovely colors in acrylics. I usually paint in water mixable oil so that accounts for some of that um, but now I paint more in acrylics. I'm going to go out and buy all those lovely vivid acrylics that um, you see in the store and I'm going to make all of my paintings pop with these vivid um, pigment loaded colors. I just love them. Those little sideways swipes with the um, titanium white on the edge of the petal give you that illusion of a curl of the petal. and. Um, it adds dimension to the flower. It makes it look 3D. I've mixed a lighter green for a highlight. I'm assuming the light is coming from the right because that's where it is in the background. And I'm going to just pop a little highlight on the leaves on that side. Um, I still need to add more leaves to this picture. I've got some stems there that are quite stark and need some um, leaves on them. I'm putting in the sepals just using a very tiny round. I sometimes use a liner brush for this and um, I often just use the side of a small flat. It depends what you're comfortable with I suppose and I usually use whatever I have in my hand to be absolutely honest. Um, but it the sepals are nicer if you can get a little curve into them. Rose leaves are usually in groups of three and I let my brush do all the work when I'm putting on the leaves. I do a sideways swipe into, um, I've made a bit of a mess there but it doesn't really matter. It's all that, all colour that adds to the background. Um, what was I saying? Okay, I pull the leaf in from the outer edge in toward the centre vein and I let the brush do all the work. 
Um, I know rose leaves have a jagged edge. I don't worry about that too much. I just put in three group leaves in groups of three and leave it at that. The leaves on the side of the painting that is not hit by the light will be much darker. Sometimes I mix in um, French ultramarine blue with the sap green. Sometimes I add a little raw umber for this. It depends how I'm feeling. I've even added alizarin crimson from time to time. It, any of those three will give you a nice dark green. Everywhere I think the sun or the light will catch the leaf, I add a highlight, just a paler touch of green. I like to paint roses that are big, luscious, full-blown roses that I remember from my childhood. And so I always add uh, stamens to them. I start off with something fairly dark. Um, in this case, I think I used alizarin crimson and put raw sienna on top. And um, sometimes I go even a little darker with raw umber. Um, but that generally gives a fairly good center if you just dot that in. Sometimes you see color on the leaf, don't you? A brown or a sort of orangey colour. Um, I'm starting off with pink here and then I'll add yellow to it just to sort of give it a hint of orange on the leaf. I think it makes the painting look a little more lively uh, if you can get more colour into every item in the picture.
I try to get lots of colour in my stems. I strengthen them with alizarin crimson, sometimes some raw umber, sometimes French ultramarine blue and I always put a highlight where I think the light will catch them and I put thorns on my roses as well. I forgot to turn my camera on for the thorns. So I really enjoyed painting these roses. I hope you enjoyed the video as well. If you did, please give me a like, share and subscribe. That helps my channel grow and I'd appreciate it if you could find time to do that. And um, I'm going to try more of these lovely eye-popping colours and I'll see you next time.